What's good, everybody? It's your girl, Cherry, and welcome back to Life of Cherry. Hi, my Cherry Blossoms. Welcome back. Yes, welcome back to my budgeting channel. I know it's been a while, a while, like six months-ish type of thing over here. But yes, your girl is here, showing up in 2024, back to do um a couple of savings challenges. So before I get into the video, and I let you know, the two challenges that I will be tackling, even though like the month of January is wrapping up. Um, before let me let me rewind because I feel myself huffing and puffing already. Okay, a lot, <laughs> a lot has happened. If you don't know, I started a new channel, Life of Cherry Vlogs, where I post on that channel two to three times a week, and I've been posting on that channel two to three times a week for like the last five months, okay? So that's where I've been. But your girl is currently pregnant. I'm at the end of my pregnancy. Um, at the time I'm recording this video, I am 32 weeks, and I'm out of breath. Like, I'll be out of breath just sitting down. I'll be out of breath just, just looking. Like, I turn my head and I'm, I'm out of breath, okay? So you might hear me huffing and puffing a little in this video. Don't think like, oh my God, is she having health issues? No, your girl is good. I'm just knocked up like a mother, boop, okay? So yeah, I'm back on this budgeting channel because baby boy, I am having a boy, will be arriving in eight short weeks. And they say it's better late than never, right? So your girl is here to save, to start saving for baby boy. And also I wanna do a challenge that is near and dear to my heart which is the $1 savings challenge. So I'm gonna start that challenge off in this video as well. So for those of you who came from this channel, my budgeting channel, and now you're following me on my vlog channel, y'all have been on me. The comments have been going ham. Y'all like, Cherry, are you gonna post any videos on your budgeting channel? Cherry, are you gonna do any savings challenges? Cherry, what's going on with you? Cherry, are you getting back on that channel? And to be quite honest and quite frank with you guys. Um, I love each and every one of my subscribers and supporters over here on this Life of Cherry budgeting channel, but cash stuffing is not my passion. Like, I don't even go to the bank and pull money out anymore. Everything is on auto pay at this point in time, and my heart is not really into it. So I'm the type of person, when my heart is not into something, I don't half ass it. I just like withdraw from it altogether. And that's kind of the point that I've been at with this budgeting channel. So you will not see any cash stuffing videos from me on this channel, but I'm getting back to the basics of what started this budgeting channel for me. And that is by doing savings challenges. So I will be doing a savings challenge from my savings challenge book here. It's Cherry Savings Challenges. A fun and easy way to start saving today. You can purchase this book in my Etsy shop or you can purchase it directly through Amazon. I'm gonna have both linked down below. I suggest you purchase it through Amazon because you could get your book in like two days, boo. And if you purchase it through my Etsy shop, I don't mind, but I'm pregnant, I'm moving slow. It's gonna take about a week for me. And this is just the honest truth. It's gonna take about a week for me to get to your order, to package it, to get it to the post office, ship it out and so on for it. But if you want your book to be like more special and personalized and like razzle dazzled by everything I add in my packages, then of course order it from my Etsy shop, but just know it will take a little bit longer than it will take from Amazon for you to get your book. So yeah, this book is here. And by the way, there have been dozens of you who have ordered the savings challenge book already. Some of you told me that you did most of the challenges in the book. Some of you were trying to wait for me to start challenges, for you to start challenges. And I just wanna say I appreciate every single one of you that even in my absence on this budgeting channel, some of y'all have still been rocking with me. Y'all still been reaching out. Y'all still been letting me know how much y'all been saving, the challenges y'all been doing, purchasing this book and so on for it. So thank you so much. I really, really appreciate that. Now, before I open this book and show y'all the two challenges I'm gonna show y'all, let me tell you, it was a struggle. It was a struggle for your girl to get these rings on. Y'all probably can't really tell, but the, the fat is busting out the sides. My fingers are swollen, my feet are swollen, and I just wanna do nothing at this point in life, okay? But just, you know, rest, nest, and deliver a healthy baby boy. But um, I like to recycle things, and this is an old binder that I had. 
I don't be buying new stuff. And even when I was creating like binders and cash envelopes and stuff in my Etsy shop, I would tell y'all like save y'all money. Don't go buying a whole bunch of this and that and that and that because you'll spend more money buying stuff to budget than you actually will doing the budget. Like, so I had this, y'all seen this binder recycled in multiple videos. So I just recycled it again and made some new cash envelopes. So the first challenge I will be doing, and let me make sure, cause it's been a while since I recorded my hands. Like, hold on, got to stand up. All right, y'all can see. So the first challenge I'm going to be doing is called Oh Baby. And this is the cash envelope that I made for this challenge. I really, really like it. I like it so much that I was almost tempted to go back to making cash envelopes in my Etsy shop, but I said, girl, don't, don't even do it to yourself, okay? And the second challenge that I will be doing is the $1 savings challenge, but I just put this one as savings challenge because once I'm done with the $1 savings challenge, I can use this for any other challenge that I want to do. So yeah, this is the binder that I will be using for these two challenges. So let me put them to the side. Actually, let me put this over here. All right, so I'm gonna open my savings challenge book and this is how it looks. This is telling you like saving doesn't have to be hard. This is a message from me. Here's my photo. Um, I always tell you that saving doesn't have to be hard. Even if you are starting out by just saving your change, which is how I originally started out saving, over time that change will add up. Even if you're starting out saving a dollar, over time that dollar, 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 it will add up. Saving doesn't have to be hard. You just have to start and be consistent. Okay, so this is how the inside is looking. And then I have the challenges, the rules to the challenges, and so on for it. And then we get into the actual challenges. Now, a couple of months ago, I did start my spare chain savings challenge, and I stopped. I consistently did it for 2, 4, 5, 5, 10, 15. I consistently did it for 15 days, and I stopped halfway through the month, as y'all could tell, and I didn't finish it. And you know, one thing about me, I'm a very honest, blunt, transparent person. There's no need for me to lie about something. And the reason why I stopped this challenge is because the views weren't there. Like I have almost 11,000 subscribers on this channel and my video dead got like 170 views. And I was like, I'm putting in this time to create, even though it was a short, it's a short form content, I'm putting in this time every day to create a video to upload it to only get 100 people to watch it. So it just it just made me feel not so motivated to complete the challenge. And that's why the challenge kind of fizzled out for me um, on social media. I did continue to save my change. I still save my change. Like even before I started this challenge, I was saving my change. That's something that I just do. But I just stopped recording me doing it on social media. All right. So I'm not going to show you every single challenge in here. But I will give you a little quick flip through. Again, let me make sure that I am in frame and this is how the book is looking these are some of the challenges inside the book and I also have some quotes you know I was I was infamous for saying let's save some money honey and yes that's what we are back to do today so these are all the challenges majority of the challenges do come with a savings tracker so you could document your progress. I always tell you to document your progress so you can see from month one to month two how much you've been able to save, from month one to month five how much you've been able to save. Because sometimes when you're doing um, a savings challenge that might take several months or may take the whole year or you're trying to save a large amount like $5,000, you will get discouraged and you will be like, what's the point of this? Let me dip into those funds or let me just stop this challenge. But if you document your progress, you will see every month how much you have been able to save. So the challenge that I will be doing, oh, let me just flip through for first. So yeah, these are um, some of the challenges in the book. Bada bing, bada bang, and boom. So one of the challenges I will be doing is the old baby savings challenge. And doing this challenge will help me save $1,300, so $1,300, and this is like bingo. The goal is you try to get bingo, but ultimately you're gonna end up filling in every single square, and then you could track your progress. Baby boy is due in eight weeks. I don't have this much time, so I'm probably not going to be tracking my progress. I'm just going to be filling in 
the numbers as often as I can, as much as I can, until it is time for baby boy to arrive. So that's the first challenge I'm going to be doing. And then the second challenge I passed already is going to be, boom, this $1 savings challenge that I think I'm going to do and then end it the same time that I end this challenge, just to try to give this one a little extra, you know, a little extra coins to go along with this challenge here. All right, so that's enough of me talking. Let's get right into the challenge. I actually, I'm excited. I wanna do the old baby one first. So let's get to old baby. Old baby, baby, in the words of Brittany, okay? So here's my old baby challenge. And let me get my handy dandy binder over here. And y'all, be sure to follow me on Life for Chubby Vlogs because it goes down over there. It goes down, okay? There is more to me than these luscious, luxurious hands, boo. There is more to me than these, to, than these hands. So, the first challenge I'm going to be doing is the old baby challenge. And again, let me make sure I'm in frame because, like I said, it comes down a little bit. It's been a long time, a long time since your girl done did this. So, the old baby challenge. Today, I'm going to be putting in 20 40 50 dollars and i'm going to be using this colored pencil here just because it matches this a little bit and i'm like okay whatever and i do tell you when you're purchasing this book that and i'm never going to lie or mislead anybody for any reason it is best to use like colored pencils not like those heavy duty markers because the markers may bleed through the pages. And I don't want you to be doing one challenge and then the challenge before it or after it is now ruined because the marker bled through your page. So I'm going to just use color pencils to be on the safe side. So for this challenge, I will be putting $50 in and I have a 50 right here and I have a 50 right here. So if I put it right here, I could do a B-I-N-G-O or a B-I-N-G-O or B-I, no, is it B-I-N-G, yeah, or B-I-N-G-O. If I put it here, I could get bingo this way or bingo this way. I'm going to do this one because it gives me more chances and more options to get bingo. So I could get bingo one, two, wait, one, two, three ways I could get bingo this way. So I'm going to color in this $50 um bottle right here because y'all know baby needs milk and milk gets expensive out here in these streets so let me just color this in quickly you could color in a whole square or if you want you could just color in the bottle like the item i think i might just color in the item what y'all think let me know should i color in the whole square or just the item i'm gonna just color in the item all right, we're going to leave that blue. That, that was just a little ombre effect I did at the top. <laughs> we're going to leave it like that. But I'm just going to color in the actual item, not the whole entire square. I don't know. I'll come back. The whole square probably be colored in. Who knows? But, yeah, for now, we're going to leave it just like that. And I'm putting, hmm, I think I want to color in the whole square. Do I? Don't I? I can't believe I'm getting stuck on something so simple. I'm going to color in the whole square, y'all. And sorry if my camera is shaking, but my camera is attached to my table. And yeah, the table is shaking, so is the camera. Let me know down in the comments below, have any of y'all been doing savings challenges? If so, what challenges have y'all been doing? And where are y'all at with the progress on your savings challenges? Like, are these challenges y'all just started in 2024? Or are y'all carrying over some of these challenges from last year? And how much have y'all saved? Like, if y'all doing a $1 savings challenge, how many ones have you been able to save? If y'all doing a $5,000 savings challenge, like, how much progress have you made towards your $5,000 goal? All right. So, I colored in the whole thing. Let me move this mark out the way. I have my $50. And I'm going to add this to my old baby envelope. And that's my $50 for that. And I will be back. I'm thinking of posting a video once a week of these two challenges. But I might be stuffing it off camp. Maybe I'll just let the money accumulate throughout the week. And then post a lump sum every week. I don't know how I'm going to do it. But I want to hit this goal before we get to March. Which is when I'm due. So yeah. That's the old baby challenge. Now let me come over here. 
to and I can write my due date. Let me get a pencil. Or let me get a pen, actually. And I'm not going to write my actual due date. I'm just going to put March. All right, March 2024 is what I'm going to put here. And then now I'm going to flip over to my $1 savings challenge, which did I pass it? No, it's somewhere in here. Boom. My $1 savings challenge. And today for this challenge, I'm only putting in $3 because that's all the dollars I had. Ooh, that's all the dollars I had. So I'm going to use this color pencil here and I'm going to color in these first $3. First three is color in, and then I'm gonna come back over to this binder to my savings challenge envelope, and I'm gonna put my three dollars in here. All right, so let me close this up. All right, so that is it for this video. I hope y'all, you know, rock with me as I say for my baby boy and I do my $1 savings challenge. And please feel free to join in on a $1 savings challenge with me. I will see y'all again next week on this channel as I'm saving for baby boy and I'm doing my other challenge as well. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on your post notifications so you'll know the next time I post a new video and head over to Life of Chevy Vlogs, okay? And subscribe to that channel as well. I love y'all for watching. I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye, Blossoms.